Welcome to this GE Healthcare educational series on indirect calorimetry. This measurement is part of the GE Healthcare Monitoring Solutions and Respiratory Portfolio. Indirect calorimetry relates to the measurement of pulmonary gas exchange and the quantification of metabolic needs to support clinicians in defining the nutritional requirements of critically ill patients. In this second video, we will be covering the GE Healthcare Indirect Calorimetry Module Setup, Sensor Placement, Cleaning, and Disinfection. Let's get started. The GE Healthcare Indirect Calorimetry Solution consists of three components. The Carescape BX50 Patient Monitor, or the Carescape R860 Critical Care Ventilator, the ESCOVX Metabolic and Gas Exchange Module, the Adult D-Light Plus Plus, or the Pediatric Pedilite Plus Patient Spherometry Sets. It is now time to place the sensors on an intubated and mechanically ventilated patient. It is important that the D-Light Plus Plus sensor and the sampling tubes remain free from water condensation of water droplets. Condensation in the sampling tubes can affect the flow volume measurements and or the gas composition measurements. Place the sensor upwards with a 25 to 35 degree tilt angle to prevent condensed water from entering the sensor interior and the tubings. The D-Light++ flow sensor set allows simultaneous measurement of airway gases, lung mechanics, and metabolism. All parameters are measured through a single lightweight flow sensor, especially developed for GE Healthcare patient spirometry. If a heat and moisture exchanger filter is used, ensure that it is placed between the D-Light++ sensor and the patient. Connect the gas sampling line to the water trap port. Connect the spirometry lines to the spirometry ports of the ESCOVX gas module. Plug the calibrated gas module into either a Carescape R860 ICU ventilator or a Carescape monitor. Finally, allow the module to warm up for 30 minutes prior to the measurements. Display the energy expenditure and respiratory quotient parameters in the Carescape monitor or Carescape R860 user interface and select averaging window either according to guidelines or by enlarging it to cover a stable measurement area. Probe steady state by sliding the averaging window while observing stable plateau. Record the averaged EE and RQ data and press the save key to save the data and the selection to the unit trend memory. For cleaning and disinfection, please note that the D-Light++ and Pedilite Plus patient spirometry sets are disposable and for single patient use only. The following criteria can be used to determine the end of the expected service life. The D-Light++ and the Pedilite Plus spirometry sensors become foggy or dirty. They have been used on a single patient during a single procedure. 24 hours have elapsed since the spirometry set was taken into use. Thank you for watching this video series on indirect calorimetry. In the next video, we will talk about various clinical use cases for indirect calorimetry.